four. James Naismith invented the sport of basketball in 1891. At that time, he was a PE teacher in Springfield, Massachusetts. Naismith was given 14 days to create an indoor game by administration to keep his students active, so he thought this would be a good idea to get his students in better shape. The greatest basketball player to ever live is Michael Jordan. He is a perfect 6-0 in the NBA Finals, and he is considered the most clutch basketball player of all time. He decided 25 games with shots made in the last 30 seconds of the fourth quarter. Michael Jordan also has his own shoe brand, which is extremely successful. It is so successful that his net worth currently stands at $1.39 billion. My friends and I thought it would be a good idea to join a men's basketball league with players ages ranging anywhere from 30 to 50 years old. Here are their thoughts on the things that went down in that league. Tell me about the background of the Tuesday Night Sea League Nuggets. The men's Tuesday Night Sea League Nuggets originated as our St. Mark's team. We were the Wayside Nuggets. Um, after the St. Mark's season, we, uh, we weren't finished. We didn't get what we wanted. We didn't get our championship. Uh, so we did some research, looked around for some other leagues. We found the Tuesday Night Sea League at uh, Lions Park in Mount Prospect. And we joined it, hoping for a championship. How did your team fare against the rugged competition that you faced in the Tuesday Night Sea League? How do you help your Tuesday night C League team win games? Uh, I'd say first off, you know, kind of spread the wealth a little bit with the ball. Uh, second off, uh, fan favorite, um, pet stands every single game. Got everyone hyped up, yelling, go Nuggets, of course. So, uh, lastly, you know, I was kind of the, I was the hype guy. They call me Tweety Bird because I chirped so much at the other team. Caused a lot of ejections, you know. Got the team amped up to uh, get some dubs, and you know, we served it. How did Jack Veracruz affect your team's success? You mean Easy J? I believe so. Uh, first off, um, when with St. Mars before he dished the, the championship for a pasta party for the varsity team, which was kind of rough. He, um, you know, was there just hyped everyone up. When I got off the bench after you know scoring like 25 points per game, no big deal. Um, he would kind of just like be like, you know what, nice job, get back out there, and like talk about like what you were doing well on. Or one time. Not naming names, but someone who um, uh, kind of had a rough outing, kind of tossed the game for us in St. Mark's. He's like, do that again, and it uh, meant uh, Tuesday Night Sea League, you're out. He was kind of just there to hype us up. Even though he wasn't the coach, he was there, you know, just to get us amped up and tell us what we're doing wrong, all good things. 
one season in the Tuesday Night C League lasted about 12 games. In those 12 games, our record was 1 and 11. Our only win came against the last team that we played, and we hit a last second game winning layup. One big controversy that has come up recently has been NBA players getting paid so much more than NFL players. One reason as to why NBA players get paid more is that they get a slightly bigger amount of league revenue than NFL players do. NBA players get roughly half of league revenue, while NFL players get just under half of the league's revenue. Another reason as to why professional basketball players get paid more than professional football players is the pro basketball community is much smaller than the pro football community. Not to mention NBA players careers last approximately two years longer than professional football careers. There are almost four times as many pro football roster spots than pro basketball roster spots so professional football players have to get paid less. All in all, I feel as if professional football players should get paid almost the same amount as professional basketball players. Careers for football players are much shorter than basketball players because of the devastating injuries that players sometimes suffer. So I feel that it is only right to increase league revenue so that football players earn more money.